Hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we have the Time USB Group 24. Group 24, 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. We'll take a closer look at this one. Let's get started. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we'll talk about the Time USB lithium ion phosphate battery born for RVs. That's what their advertisement and commercial slogan is. And we'll jump right into, as always, we'll go through the specs. Um, I realized I didn't do a good job uh, in the last few videos. I um, have to make sure I'll show you the specs of this battery this time because Group 24 is getting more and more popular. Then we'll uh, talk about what's in the package, obviously, and show you. Then we'll do a capacity test and then a teardown to prove what's in it or how the build quality is. And then you can make your own you know, summary out of this. Let's get started with what's in the box of this battery. The box itself, it does come with those, pa with those um, terminal caps, it does come with bolts. And I'm, I believe it's just one set of bolts in this case, but it's plenty. And other than that, it comes with a plastic housing. It does come, or polymer housing, it does come with those stickers up here on here. And everything else is pretty basic. It does have a serial number on top, which I don't have to show you right away, but um, Group 24. Also, it comes with this nice package. This package looks pretty similar to other manufacturers as well. And uh, maybe up there, whoop. And funny enough, it does come with stickers, those stickers and this fun man looks similar to, uh, I've seen it already, but it is time USB, it's a different one. So additionally, it does come with um, this quick start guide, pretty cool. And comes with a manual, product manual. And speaking about product manual, we'll go over to the specs right away and try to compare what it is in here and also what they have on the website. Link in the description below, obviously. There might also be some discount code for you in case you want it. So let's get started. We do have those dimensions and that's on the first page also in the product manual. It does come with the M8 terminal bolts as we know it. And here we have the parameters which are in the product manual, so I will refer to them because they are in the box. Sometimes, you know, it can be messed up when it's on the website. So these are the cell uh, type lithium ion phosphate. Um, I don't have to go through all of the things, but I want to highlight it's a rated capacity of 100 amp hours. The BMS is up to 100 amp, very important. And recommended charge current is 20 amp, which is 0.2C. We'll do the test uh, with the 0.2C later as well. With a maximum continuous charge current and maximum continuous discharge current of 100 amp hour. And then we have a max discharge current of one second for 400 amp. Sadly, I don't have built like um, up there, Will Prowse has built um, this high amp test and Otherwise, we could, have, could test it, obviously. I don't have it. I hope um, I'll be able to do that in the future. Um, then we would also be able to test this pretty easy. And yeah, I talked already about dimensions and temperature, temperature range. Speaking about temperature range, and uh, yeah, everything else is manual. It looks well thought out. It has a couple pages in total, um, 16. It talks about uh, basically everything you would expect. And also you see and I think that's maybe interesting to one or the other. Looking at the website and also all the security features it should come with, they advertise it's a Crate A cell, built-in 100 amp BMS. It has an overcharging, over discharging, over current, over heating, and short circuit protection. So those are the protections which should be working based on the BMS. It does not have a low temperature charging protection. So overheating, we'll see what we have inside and um, then we'll do some tests if we can do those. And if we find a temperature probe, we might be able to test temperature high and low temp cutoffs, what do you like to do in this video, and we'll do that later. But first of all, I would say we'll proceed with the capacity test and see what this battery is capable of. Here we are for the capacity test for our Group 24 Time USB. There we are. So now you have to prove it is the actual battery. And I just unplugged the charger. So let me reset everything. Now we can start a test. We want to aim for 20 amps. So that means a 0.2C industry standard, as much as I know, of discharging this battery. So it should take about 45 hours. If you make your math, 100 amp hours divided by 20, it should be exactly five hours. So let's see if we can get there at all.
All right, we're getting closer to 20. Might take a little longer. It will increase over time to 20, a little bit above when the voltage drops more. So that's good for me. Let's get started and I'll be back as soon as always, as we are closer to the end or when we're at the end, I'll let you know where we are. Just past the 101 amp hour. That's great to see. I just turned it back on that we can see something again. But that's a pass, so let's move on to the tier known. It successfully passed with 101 amp hours, so that's great to see group 24. Now let's continue with taking this apart and see what's inside, what we're dealing with, and how the build quality is. And therefore, I'll make it quick so you don't have to be bored how I open up this thing. Got it open for you, so that means open up the lid, and that's what we're looking at. So. So that means on the first glance, we can see here we have the terminals. We see there is one wire going to the positive terminal, which is a six gauge wire. And it seems to be hydraulically crimped here on the terminal, but also on the main positive in here. I'll try to get it out in a minute. We do have a hydraulically crimped here on the negative as well. That's good to see. But uh, instead of one six gauge wire, we do have three 10 gauge wires over here. Um, to the main negative and then we do have some kind of most likely temperature switch i think it's a temperature switch over here we'll see that in a second as well i'll get it out and um, then we'll see if we can see more so it looks like it's glued in there pretty well so it's hard for me to get out at all but um, nevertheless i tried to make some progress at least exposing a couple more things so we can see it better and one of the things i can say that we are dealing with a branded time usb branded uh, BMS here and that's the time USB that's the model 100 amp hour that's what it says and it's by the way not coming with Bluetooth so no need to work on that one but so let's try to figure out we have on this side what I can see and let me try to get the end better when I have this one so we have the BMS which is interesting enough with cable ties it's holding in looks like just giving an extra layer of security security underneath there we have an epoxy board um, and all the cells, hard for me to see, but prismatic cells, they're all with a cable tie over here and they have a, a corner protection as well, so they really compress together. But the terminals here, they laser welded. From what I can see, they have a hump in between. I don't know if you see that here, but um, the bus bars have a little hump so they can contract and expand if needed. We have the positive, the main positive over here with the balance lead, the main negative over here from battery pack with a balance lead here. And then we have, of course, from the battery negative going to the BMS, those connections are soldered on the one side. On the other side, it's actually not soldered. It is hydraulic crimped. And then on the other side, the 10 gauge wire is going to the main terminal. And then we have here a most likely temperature switch or probe. I'll get it out and let you know in a second. But it looks good build, high density foams on the side. So nothing's moving around, so that's really good to see. I don't see any marks in terms of if there is maybe anything checked on on uh, torque, but um, I see that they put glue everywhere where they have also a bolt. We see the balance leads here, they are nice wrapped in a spiral wrap, so that's good and looks like protected, good to see. So yeah, let's get the, the temperature probe out. Um, by the way, one more comment about the solder uh, joints here. They look manually. I would say, but they look okay. Here's a little um, wire string exposed on this one. Um, you never know when it's getting too hot. Um, it might get loose because it's still soldered, but it needs to be very hot in there. So, but that's the only complaint I would have about this battery. And also that, of course, this is Chinese made. It is just put in here with uh, packing tape and zip ties. <laughs> But it is not moving a lot, so it's pretty good. It's really, you need force to move it. All right, let me get the temperature probe out. All right, so it's a temperature uh, switch, 75 Celsius, it's labeled on it. 
So most likely only high temp will do the high temp test first and then I'll just use some duster to see if there's any reaction, but usually those switches don't have any cold temp cutoff at all. So here in the corner, you can see it's start charging with 10.4 amps. Um, so that's how it should be. Now I'll use the heat gun and we'll test the switch if it turns off. Oh, there it is. It started to smell, that's why I turned it off. I wanted to see if something dying, but we can see it did stop charging. So that's the fact that this is too high, but regardless, there we go. Um, still not starting to charge. Let me try to cool this down really quick, see how quick it comes back, or if it comes back. So there it is back. It's charging again, so it does have the high temp cut off. Let's do the test with this duster, which usually... This must be freezing cold already. One more real quick. And that's pretty much it. All right, now it would reach temperature again, so no cold temp cutoff, that's good to see. It's not advertised, so no complaints about that, no false advertisement at all, I like, I like that. So I like what I see, at least what I can see from here without getting it out. So in general, the only thing what it, my complaints would be is the zip ties, it's very interesting to see that. So it is zip tied um, underneath, horizontal but also vertical orientation so it's not moving sideways but also not up and down pretty funny to see that so anyways let me know in the comment section what you think about this battery um especially seeing that um is there anything any complaints about it it's still uh price wise at the moment like this rated so not too expensive in my opinion as mentioned there's a discount code in case you want it and please feel free uh, to leave any comments below let me know what you think about the build quality, especially looking at other batteries, other manufacturers. But in my opinion, um, what I like is for sure that I see those hydraulic crimped connections. I can see the humps on the bus bars. They look solid and thick. Um, nothing's rubbing on the side of the housing. So there's enough plenty of space between negative and positive connections to the battery. Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.